Hello, dear Fasmatic friends! Today we are studying the grouping symbols. Let's go, please! First of all, we have to say that we have four grouping symbols in math. Parentheses, brackets, braces and the bin column. But why are they different? Well, because your eye could be confused if you have the same symbol everywhere. So, for distinguishing, you need different symbols. Let's see one example. What happens if you have this kind of operations? First of all, you have to find the symbol that is inside all the other symbols. Here we can see that the VIN column is inside the parentheses and at the same time the parentheses and brackets are inside of the braces. First of all, we are going to eliminate this symbol. Imagine it is like a parenthesis. It is the same thing. So we copy everything and we want to eliminate the VIN column. So imagine it is like a parenthesis here. It is the same. So when you have a positive or negative sign before a parenthesis, you have to multiply the sign outside the parenthesis by the signs inside the parenthesis or the bin column or the braces or the brackets. Negative times positive, negative two. And that's it. I have eliminated the bin column. After that, we see that the brackets and the parentheses are inside the braces. So we are going to solve the operations that are inside brackets and parentheses. And after that, we are going to eliminate brackets and parentheses. We solve negative 5 plus 3. We have different signs. Remember? The video where we talked about the signs rules. So if we have different signs, we subtract and we keep the sign of the biggest number. Minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. After that we solve minus 4 minus 1 minus 2. We have the same sign, so we add and keep the same sign. 4 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 7. After that, minus 6. Remember that we have a grouping symbol that open and that close. Now we are going to copy everything, but we are going to eliminate brackets and parentheses. So, if the 4 is close to the minus 2 and close to the minus 7 without a positive or negative sign between the number and the bracket or the bracket and the parenthesis we have to multiply only multiply first the signs after that the numbers positive times negative negative times negative positive 4 times 2 8 times 7 56. We close the grouping symbol and after that we're going to solve what is inside the braces. So we write 2, negative 3 plus 56, 53 because if signs are different you subtract and keep the sign of the biggest number. After that, if the number 2 is close to the 53 without a positive or a negative sign between them, you are going to multiply it. If the 2 is very close to the 53 without a positive or negative sign between them, we are going to multiply the numbers. 2 times 53, it is 106. After that, minus... 6, the final answer will be 100. Thank you very much, dear friends. See you next time.